Hey everybody, just doing a short video on the Aeon Mira 9, adding a air compressor to the air assist. Um, yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this is there is already a really good video uh, that Mom with a Laser did, a really good one that I actually followed whenever I first was setting up to do this. But it looks like the Mira has changed a little bit. They've actually updated it, which is great. They actually made it a lot easier. So first thing, so we're going to, this thing, and I'm not sure how to do this yet. And so as of now, I'm just going to leave it running. But this is where the actual air compressor is at. It's down here on the left side. You can see it right there. And it's actually very recognizable to me because I recognize it as an air pump uh, for a fish tank this is actually like a commercial style fish tank air pump it does like a high volume to where you can either do a very large tank or in my case a lot of times it was um, it would go to like a gang valve where you would put, run it to six or eight or ten tanks or whatever but that's what that is that's the air pump I'm not sure how to turn it off just yet I'm what I'm going to do is eventually figure out which um, where on the circuit board or where I can actually disconnect the power for it. But for now, we're just going to let it run. Uh, some people recommend plugging it. I'm not going to do that because honestly, I don't want it to um, overheat the thing. Just like with a fish tank one, like I don't, we don't normally put so much pressure on it or shut it off completely because then it's just pumping and pumping and no air is moving through it. Uh, it makes it get very hot. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to let it run. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, this is on the back side. You can see the exhaust is over here. Then we have the chiller on this side. And so what's different about this one is that in the other video, uh, the how-to video, this is just an empty knockout square. So you would just knock this out with a little hammer. Then you just feed your line through here. So they've changed this and now they have both a LAN interface cable back here, but more importantly, a blowing uh, connection, which is a quick connect. It's a quarter inch quick connect for air assist. It is not actually hooked up in here though. So let me show you. Um, so basically it's not actually hooked up. So what the way that it is when you open it up in here, this is your solenoid for the air assist. This is what turns it on and off. And basically, this runs from that air pump, so we're going to disconnect that. Now on the other side of that blowing connector, this thing is just a tube that just sits here. It's not connected to anything. So I'm going to connect it to the push fitting. These push fittings are really simple. Um, you basically just want to take two fingers or one if you can get around it. You push down and then simultaneously you pull up to disconnect. And then when you go to connect, you just push it in until it stops. And um, it should be tight on there, like that one's tight on there. So that's all you have to do with this. It's super simple. The bucket that I got from Aon, got a little plastic bucket that has a bunch of different tools and things in it that we would need, came with this tubing. So it actually had this tubing with the quarter inch fitting. It even had some Teflon tape on the end of it. So it was ready to go. Um, but that's basically it. And what's all you, all I had to buy was I had to get this guy right here. This is a mini air filter from Cobalt. They, the only reason I got this one specifically is just because they happen to have it in stock at Lowe's. It was about $18. And this was $2. This is a male quarter inch quick connect for an airline. Um, and I put some Teflon tape around it, put it on there. This plugs in to our air compressor over here. And that's it. The only issue I have with this particular um, filter is that if you run it on really low pressure, like if you only want to run five PSI uh, through there for engraving, if you leave it on there, a lot of times this little um, pressure valve will not have enough pressure on it to stay shut. So it might leak some air out of it. Um, I noticed that just keeping it up about 20 or higher PSI all the time seems to remedy that but if you do really want to stick down to a lower psi you might want to try a different filter um, but totally up to you so this is the other end of that guy and i'm just going to plug it down in here and again i'm sorry i don't have 
a uh, phone stand, so everything is a little shaky, but wanted to make this quick. And then this guy is going to just plug in right over here. If I can make a little room for it. Just like that. And we're good to go. That's all that it takes. Um, and now air assist is on. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it is a lot easier now. Uh, previously, it was not set up for this, so you had to just knock this out. You had to actually buy that 6 millimeter line, this, this piece right here with the connector. But... It looks like Aeon's including it, at least with the Mira 9. So, just as a heads up, maybe yours has it, maybe it doesn't. But I figured I'd let you guys know. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, send a comment or reach me on Facebook. Thanks. Bye.